In the ancient city of Rome, amidst the grandeur of towering columns and bustling marketplaces, a curious scholar named Marcus tirelessly sought the hidden knowledge of the Roman numerals. The Romans were known for their sophisticated numerals I, V, X, L, C, D, and N. Yet Marcus was troubled by an enigma that plagued his scholarly pursuits. Zero was conspicuously absent. Marcus dedicated his days to studying scrolls and inscriptions, questioning wise elders, and observing the trade conducted in Roman forums. He noticed that merchants calculated their goods without needing a symbol for zero, adapting seamlessly with a numeral system that represented quantities. One evening, Marcus joined a gathering of philosophers at the Grand House of Aurelius. As the intellectuals debated the cosmos and the nature of infinity, Marcus presented his perplexing query. Why does our numeral system lack a representation for nothingness? Aurelius mused as he gazed into the dancing flames of the heart. The Romans see zero not as a number of value, but rather the void, the infinite absence. Our numerals count the tangible, the real. The scholar Callista chimed in with her characteristic zeal. Ancient civilizations like the Babylonians recognized zero as a placeholder long before us. Perhaps our forebears viewed the universe in terms of wealth, material, and abundance, choosing not to represent emptiness. Marcus contemplated their insights, pondering how different cultures approached the concept of nothingness. Across the ages, Eastern mathematics had begun understanding zero as crucial for calculation and science. Thus, Marcus embarked on a quest beyond Rome, leaving behind the whispers of the Eternal City to unlock the mysteries contained within foreign symbols. The absence of zero in Roman numerals was a unique cultural stance, reflecting Rome's grandeur, a civilization that thrived on the very notion of substance and concrete numbers. In his travels, Marcus learned the ingenious methods by which other societies embraced zero, broadening his understanding and inspiring his own ideas. He returned to Rome with newfound knowledge and a dream to incorporate the essence of zero into a future where understanding mathematical infinity would reveal itself to all. And so, the mystery of the missing zero remained a historic echo of Rome's legacy, a testament to the ever-evolving pursuit of knowledge.